Well, now since we're out of hiatus, I can finally continue my search for titties. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, oh. but as it turns out, no. that might be what you no. get. A 4 no. uploaded a photo. Number 16, Burger King Hot Dog. Hey guys, um, surprise, this isn't actually an episode at all. Um, I fucking tricked you. I'm a tricky trickster like that. So, uh... I'm depressed as fuck right now, and I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for months now. Maybe even a year. A year. Yeah. Probably sounds like a year. And I just want to talk about it, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fucking tired about it. And I, I, just, I, just, I just want to get it off my chest. I am kind of I'm basically fucking tired of getting the comments about, where's the new Secret Transformer show episode? And... I made a video. I made an hour-long video about this, and I wasn't trying like any kind of monetization bullshit on people. If that video is monetized, I'm sorry. It just probably did that on its own. But I, it's not trying to trick anybody. I, I really, it is an hour-long discussion on why Secret Transformer show episodes and movies haven't been out in the last little while, and it's been shorts, but. Nobody really, hold on, let me look at the views for that video again. Yep, sure enough, looked at the views, 324 views. Yeah. Now, I know I, I know people are going to be like, Larry, you're just basing this off views, and that's all you're caring about. Well, in a sense, I have a right to care about these views, because this is how many people this thing's reached to, and I still get asked these questions. So, it really doesn't matter. And not only is that video kind of like not very underperforming, I also get a video such as the behind the scenes video, which I still get questions asked about that actually, like multiple times during streams about that. Um, how long does it take? And I just sit there and I'm like, well, I just made a, a behind the scenes video. And my, my, my thinking all this time has been that if I credit something or title something as the Secret Transformer Show and then to put that colon, people are going to immediately click on it. But I'm looking at the views for the behind the scenes. It's 500 views. When the episode that came out, I want to say like the short that came out like a few days or a week before has nearly 4,000 views on it. And it's just like, why? Maybe it's because I didn't put it in the in the playlist that I have for it. But at the same time, I feel like people don't click on the playlist a lot. I, I could be wrong. I could look at the analytics of that and see that it's like humongous. That's where all the views come from. <laughs> Is that it comes from the uh, playlist. In fact, let me check on that right now. Well, I'm wrong. It actually has 11,000 views on the playlist, which, Jesus Christ, I'm actually surprised. And thank you guys. But I, 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 uh, but I, I still want to talk about it. I still want to talk. Why is there no this? Why is there no Secret Transformer show episodes, full big episodes? Why is there no movie? And why it fucking irritates the shit out of me. And it's just that no one wants to read. No one wants to find out anything. They just want. They just want the result. They they just want to ask the question. They don't want to tune into anybody else's stuff saying, hmm, maybe this is this. And I know I'm sounding very fucking petty. I just got 2,000 subscribers, and I greatly appreciate it. But at the same time, it's just that I think that I know what a majority of those people are here for, but they don't want to, you know, watch anything else. And that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of YouTubers that do that, too. Um, but it, it kind of irritates me, and I guess this finally hits me why why that is irritating to other people. And I don't know. And I also understand now my friend Joe Powell, Crosshairs Productions, pain about whenever people get comments of where's season two. When he gets that, he deletes them, by the way, guys. He deletes them or ignores them. He's tired of it. And I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to start deleting comments. It's just fucking annoying to me. So, okay, so I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible, under 30 minutes. So, here, here's where an episode is. And this is how far an episode's gotten. 
it is a quarter done. There is a quarter, there is a 25% of an episode so far. And that's just guest lines. And that's a quarter of it. Now, that was done two years ago. And, well, if I go back in those files and they sound really weird to me again, I will probably ask for new ones. In fact, I think right now I'm going to ask a few people, can they redo lines or add a new line? Because I'm thinking about new ideas. And from there, where do I need to do? Because I wanted... Cause I had a third of my lines done two years ago for this episode that has been been needing to be coming out for two years. But I didn't like what they were, and I didn't know what else to do in the episode. It just seemed really weird and all that, so I just didn't do it yet. And I decided to take a break. I was in college, for Christ's sakes, and I just wanted to... T- and I was at work, actually. It was my first summer at a state park working, and I just kind of wanted to... And it was a five day week job. It was just, I, it was a little stressful. So there's that. So what happens next is, um, uh, it's just that it, I want to work on that. In fact, I, here's what happened for the last three months, two months, guys, this is what happened the last two months. And I never mentioned this on YouTube. I think I brightly mentioned it. I've been in a play. I've been, uh, acting is just a thing I love doing and it's, uh, outside of YouTube, it's something I really strive to be an actor or a voice actor. That's just the ultimate end goal for me in my life. I want to entertain people outside, not just out on YouTube, but like in the world, I want to be a comedian and I want to be an actor and all this stuff. So I, and there's this local company like a production company that I try my best to be in as many places as I can out there. So maybe one day I have such a report and such of a such a, rep, a great reputation there that they just hire me as a fucking actor that gets paid there, and I could be clo- ever so closer to being in my dream job of being an actor and being paid for it. Technically, I've been paid on YouTube, but wasn't a lot for five years. No, yeah, five years. So yeah. Um, so in January, it was every, almost every day. There were four days in January. I was not busy and I spent those days st- staying at home and sleeping. I did not want to work on anything. So February comes around and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have half the month. Now I'm going to have half of that month to myself to work on this stuff. It later turned out I needed to work on half of those day, that half of that month to work on stuff so I can get money, so I can eat, so I can get gas. So, but luckily, guys, all that stuff's over, and all I have to really work up, worry about is work four days a week now until May, whenever I get my five day a week job back in a state park. So I know that's a detour from where's the secret transformer show. I want to sometime this month start working, doing my voices, do new lines, and start filming. I do not act like I've been trying to just like evade this this whole time. I've been wanting to do this for months and a year, years, years. I've been wanting to do this for years. It's just that fucking life is struggling. Life is stressful as fuck. I just opened this video saying I'm depressed as shit. So it's just I. It's just been hard recently. And I just don't want to be very creative when during these times. And I mentioned ideas, new ideas. So ever since Dinosaur Laser Party came out and everyone's loved it. And it's one of the highest viewed videos on my channel. The highest Secret Transformer show episode, viewed episode. I've been wanting to work on the lore of the show. Now, I know a lot of people were like, well, just fucking do what you always done. You know, improv this bullshit. Doesn't have to make sense. I'm starting... I think it's because I've been hanging out with Joe enough and all the guys at Crosshairs Production that I want to have, like, a streamlined lore about it now. As far as I know, I've never really had a huge, like, breakup of the line. I don't think I've ever, like, really, truly, anything new I'm going to do is going to disrupt the past. And I've been wanting to work on the past. I've actually thought about origin stuff that I want, kind of want to do more than what I'm trying to work on. 
So, yeah. Um, but I've been working on the lore is what it is. I've been working on what I want to be, a, you know, the, the story of the show. And I, I've been trying to work on a production Bible, but I've not had time to write it. But it's just like, a, where have were the origins of these characters? What did they do before? I mean, the Secret Transformers movie was going to be an origins movie for a while. And then I just ditched it because I didn't want to do that. And, um, yeah, so it's it's just been, um, I've been working on the lore. And I'm just trying to make everything fit together. And these are on days that, like, any day. I could sit at work and be like, well, what if Optimus once was this? Or... What if Megatron was this? I, I've been working on lore. Hold on one second. Nice Pepsi break. Um, but I, I've been trying to do lore, and I've tried to been making it like a story and trying all this. So when this new episode comes out and future episodes, it all, you know, once again ties together. If anything, I just retcon like all this shit to make it where like, I don't know. And I've been trying to work on the story to be um, more of a a smart story instead of me like going on a camera on, on the microphone and just blurting out shit. And I understand a lot of people love that. And don't worry, that's still what the majority of it is, but I still want like a jumping off point with a lot of stuff. I would rather sit there and be like, all right, the jumping off point to this is this, but I want a map of jumping off points. I don't want to jump off and just keep falling. I want like a jump off and it hits like a, Another jump off point and another jump off point and another jump off point. Make up shit on the way on these points, but just like still you got to have this streamline. And I'm also trying, <laughs> I'm trying in the next few episodes to like not fuck up um, because I edit this stuff now. I, I dre I've always edited it, but I want to try to be more serious about editing. I want to not leave in mistakes. I don't want to leave in any kind of like where I messed up a word and just fuck up. I don't want to mess up my voice because you always hear that. I always like, what were we doing here? And then I just like, cause I'm like, you know, preemptively going to go to the next voice. I'm going to try not doing that anymore. And I would rather do that, but that does consume a lot of time. So, and that's, and yeah. So, so yeah, stories and new ideas and everything. Uh, it's just that I'm trying to sit here and think about what, what would I like in the future? What was, what stuff I want to do? I know I like teased a long time ago what I want to do, but at this point I'm starting to think, do I really want to do that? And I don't know. It's just, it's a very, it's a very, very interesting thing to me, I guess. Um, and plus also, this is just kind of funny is that every time I get a new figure, I like, I just had to sit there like, do I want this in the secret transformer show? Like, Whenever I got Striker Manus, I had to, I vote I allowed people to vote for that, which which is funny to watch like watch the comments after that video came out and then people started noticing the popularity of that show and they tried revoting like that fucking worked. So yeah, um, but like every time I get a new figure, I'm like, would this work in the Secret Transformer show? Uh, I recently got Ratchets, like the animated Ratchets, and both and both times I got them, I was just like. Hey, this would be good on the show. And then, yeah, I made him the definitive, uh, dra uh, dra can't say words, ratchet. Uh, same with um, Star Screams. I'm having a hard time, like, picking Seekers out. Uh, Megatron, Despotron. I've been uh, deciding on Shockwave recently and Soundwave. They're the hardest right now for me. I don't know which ones I want. The new Cyber Battalion Shockwave looks great. But anyway, now I'm just rambling. But that also does add time to this. Like, what do I want as a definitive, you know, character in the show? Because I don't want to do... I don't want to do, like, where it just randomly changes every episode. I kind of... I mean, it's going to probably happen again. I, I, I don't doubt there's going to be one day where, like, something happens and we just have a new look, new look for a character. Uh, but it's just what I like doing. And, but I want to try my best to not make that possible anymore. Where, like, I pick a definitive and it stays that for the rest of the show. We are coming up on seven, no, eight years of the show. And I've still not, it's just, I, I, and I, it's always been different looks. And they have all been, and then they're never really explained. I guess that's just how things work. But I guess that's also Transformers lore anyway. That just things just happen without explaining, explanation. 
but uh, so let me think about this. But back to um, but yeah, it's just been taking a while to do all this kind of stuff, voice acting and all this. But and that's the thing is just that I'm just rambling at this point. I want to go back to the behind the scenes video, and I get a lot of questions recently, like how long does an episode take? And I have mentioned this that it could take a day. But the last true episode of the Secret Transformer show took a year to work on. From idea to final product. Because, te- well, technically, production of that episode started in six months. Yeah, six months before the episode came out. It was like, yeah, it started in April. And I wanted the episode out in June, but I did have, I don't want, I, I keep throwing it under the bus, but I kept having a voice actor not deliver on time. And then just one day I got the, I got their lines finally. And I was like, fucking finally, not an aggressive tone. I greatly appreciated what that guy did. Um, um, so, but it, but from the first idea, it was in October of the year before in October, 2014, I had the idea of like the the dinosaur island, the Dinobot Island idea. And then like I just kind of had the idea of like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if like Bumblebee and Windblade got together? Ha ha ha. And then just like I th- think I thought about it. I'm like, neither of those episodes sound cool on their own. And I like the idea of like, you know, you have one plot. You got a subplot on both sides. So I just combined the two and made it one of the most well liked and popular sh- episodes of my show. I can't watch it anymore. I'm cr- it just cringes the shit out of me. And I think that's just forever going to be the case. I'm just going to watch everything I ever do and I'm going to cringe. I can I don't know anymore. I don't know why. It, that's another thing. I just kind of had the fear whatever I'm going to put out, I'm not going to like it in the end. And everyone's going to love it, but I'm just going to sit there be si- sitting there and be like, "Yeah, that's mhm, that's what I said in that video once." Mhm. And that, that's just not me. That's a lot of people. A lot of actors and such have that same problem. Um, and, like, yeah, a lot of actors don't watch their own movies. It's kind of it's kind of weird. But at the same time, you, you've you been in that situation. You've been there. You've watched it be edited a thousand times. Why watch it again? Same goes with John Williams. So, um... Speaking of that, I just want to also make this production of episodes look a lot nicer. And it's been a it's been a struggle. And I, I really do want to work on like set building. I know everyone's gonna like the white background forever. But for other backgrounds, I think it'd be great. Like, I, I still want to do Decepticon stuff. And I have an idea what to do, but I, I want to kind of build something for that. And I also want to put music and stuff now. That's why you can hear Kevin McLeod voice songs in the background of newer shorts. Because I finally realized how fucking awkward it is to watch a show with no music at all. And that's another thing. Well, working with music, that's not copywritten. And because the Dinosaur Laser Party episode is affected by copyright, I can't earn money from that. Or else I'd be rolling in the fucking bank with it. Because there's a song in it that I pretty positive thought it was a royalty free song at this point. And one time I edited the video where it took the song out completely. And I thought, okay, I'll substitute with another thing. It turned out the whole episode's audio got removed entirely. And I I think zero one trans fan for acknowledging that or else I would have had a fucking giant bullshit like landslide about that. And so I guess it just shows don't make money off YouTube kids. But so, yeah, I just want to work on better production. And yes, it it has taken two years to think about that. I still have not bought a full computer to edit because I want to buy a computer to edit the movie whenever, whenever I get to that point, this laptop I'm on right now, it ain't going to do shit when it comes time for that. It's going to crash. It's going to be lagging. It's going to be awful. And that's also a giant holdup. Do you know, do you guys know that it takes, it could take a day 
to render a fucking video that is 20 minutes long in that's a can like a footage of me talking those like best ofs or whatever those like top figures I do every year those take a day they could take a day and a half to render because my computer is such a pile of shit and I've been hearing a lot of people and their suggestions on like uh like um antivirus that stuff won't affect work that stuff says no your computer's fine so there's something wrong and the I just don't know what's up it's ridiculous so that's also technology all this kind of stuff is affecting this thing and my phone is about running out of stuff stuff and I'm trying to think about a new phone it, there's a lot of reasons why that that like even just technology wise technology wise that I am just not, there's nothing coming out so how do I think I remedy this problem by making shorts and so far that has given you guys a f- an, that has fulfilled your appetite as far as I can rate see from like views and such you guys are enjoying it I'm glad to hear that you guys are quoting stuff I love it I'm glad you guys can um you guys like the shorts but but it's deep down I want to make an episode I I do want to make a fuller episode but that takes much longer I I I can't I can't do that right now. Everything going on in my life is just is out to fucking just fuck with me at this point. They're just out to get me. Like I sit there and say, "You know what? I'm I'm ready to work on something today." I sit down. Nothing comes out of the day. I it's uh it's it just sucks. And uh and I want to have a so, and I still want to have a social life, and that's just also a big problem right now. Is that I've been working, and I want to do this YouTube stuff again, and I can't go out with my friends and hang out with them, and I and I get even more lonely about it. We don't really like the the you know the, the I haven't been on Skype calls with people anymore because I've been so busy. Hangouts are rare and exclusive to me at this point. I chat with people every day. But it's just like, I, I miss hearing people's voices. I'm tired of living in my house every day and not going out and hanging out. But I feel like if I just go out for one day, I'm going to hear, I'm not going to hear the end of it. That I've lo- wasted my fucking time. But, and I, I can't help it. I want to, I, want to, I, I wish cloning was ex- a real thing. I really do. Because I would easily have, like, me working on stuff full time, and I could go and, and then I'll have another, like, me, either I work on stuff full time or the clone works on full stuff on full time. And then I just have, the you know, whoever's left go do all the shit that needs to be done. I really wish that. I really wish cloning existed, I guess. But it's just fucking hard in life right now. And the reason I'm so fucking depressed is I'm trying relationships, I'm going to try doing that again. But shit is not working out for me. It's just not. And I just, I'm fucking upset, sad, and mad about it. It's just... I, I'm... I, I... I don't... I want to skip this actually now. So, back to an actual topic. I... No. Don't think about it. Fuck. Why did I mention it? Fuck. I'm tired. I, I just, I, I want to work on stuff so badly, but no one, and I mean no one, will give me appreciation about that. No one, everyone just assumes I'm not doing anything. I keep getting all the comments. Whenever I make a video and put it out, people are going to comment like, you should make this. I'm sorry I wanted to put out something I wanted to make. And I'm sorry it was quicker and something I could easily do. And it's not something that I want you guys to have. I want you guys to enjoy it. I want to enjoy something sometimes. I want to make a video. All that bullshit videos I made of like Fred Flintstone, Skeletor, and fucking all those random videos, Fred, Plankton and Crabs. I want to do that. I've been wanting to do that. But I'll get comments every once in a while saying, do something else. 
I can't help it. I want to laugh again. I want to feel I want to feel good again. But I can't just work on everything. I've I've told this story many a times. The last the, whenever I edited the Secret Transformer show, the last episode, f- last real episode, there was a day where I went and took my computer to class and edited for 4 hours straight. And my eyes were on fire. That was dedication. I tell that to a people, and I re- and I rarely hear anything like "Holy shit, are you were you okay?" or anything. They're just like, "Oh, all right." And I feel like as soon as I put out an episode, as soon as I do put out an episode, I'll I'll get people. Like a week later, a month later, just like, where's the newer one? I can't churn these out. I'd rather have quality. I know my show has never been quality before, but I want to have quality now. I really do. And if you guys can't wait, if you guys really cannot wait this long for the Seeker Transformer show to make another real episode... If you just cannot wait, if you cannot wait for that anymore, if you just are being impatient about it, then I want you to leave. I want you to go. Shows that you really don't give a fuck about my channel or anything, you just care about this one thing. I know I've been grateful and I had a 2,000 subscriber thing, but I, you know what, I'd rather have true subscribers than a bunch of fucking people who just want one thing out of me. And that's all... I, I do not want to feel used. I don't want to feel like that's my only purpose in fucking life. That I'm just the secret transformer show guy. And that's all I'll ever do in my life. I'm a human being too. I want. I want to do my own thing. And, and and I get people who are thinking like, oh, is the show canceled? Is the show canceled? You would know if it's canceled. I would admit it. I would say the show's canceled. But even then, if I said it was fucking canceled, no one would watch the fucking video. I know it. No one would. They would just sit there like, where's the episode? And it's been canceled for two years. No one would care. I'll just get the same fucking kids. And I'll get the same people who don't watch this channel for anything else. And even whenever the show, like, there's a video titled the fucking show, they won't watch it. That's why I kind of did this clickbait thing. I fucking hate clickbait. But I just wanted to do it. I wanted to fuck with people who just only care about this one thing. And I'm super sorry if you guys were really hoping for something. And I do, too. I really hope this was a real thing, too. The life is fucking awful. And I can't help it. And I wish I could do better. I really do. But if you can't be patient enough for whenever I actually put something out, I want you guys to leave. I think the big reason I'm coming out about this and just saying all this shit is because of, as of recently, and I know I just opened this thing and I was depressed as shit, but for the last months, I've been feeling unappreciated, and, un- and just ignored. At, like, I'll... And just... Not just YouTube. Just, like, talking with people. Like, I, I, like I'll like i send a message to somebody, and they won't reply. They'd rather just talk about something else. And it, it's happened many a places. It's happened with people I've texted. People I... And people... New people I've been meeting. That, you know, I thought, you know, they, they, they were being great and nice. But I think they were just doing that to not hurt my feelings. And even then that just hurts my feelings even more. I've just been feeling, and I've always kind of felt unappreciated for a very long time. I'm I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm not saying I'm being underrated or I need more attention, but I just, I just feel like what I'm doing at this point is for nothing. And no one's, and I'm just doing this just so people can have something. And, And it's not just fucking YouTube. It's also for acting in real life. It's for actual work. 
It's just for doing any small little thing. I get yelled at a lot about shit. And I thought I'd be doing something good. I'm sorry I'm just taking this all out on you guys, but just it's just that I've been feeling all this kind of stuff. I say months. I probably mean years. I, this ignored thing, yeah, this happened for the last few months, but I've been feeling unappreciated for years. And I, I just see all these kind of other people having all the success out of the gate about everything. And I feel, I have to admit, I feel jealous about this kind of stuff. I mean, like, I, 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 there's a lot of people I really love to watch, see, you know, have this success, but it's just seeing all these kind of people, like these success stories and just sitting back and be like, well, I did this. Where's my fucking trophy? <coughs> it's like, I want to say four or five years ago, I went to a, a convention, an FFA convention. This sounds a little weird out of my ballpark. I went to a convention and they uh, brought as a guest these two boys from fuck I don't know where and they made parody songs, you know, redneck parody songs. And they were talking about like how, oh, their video blew up and at like 14,000 views they got like asked by their local newspaper and shit. And I just sit back and I just like just said out to myself, I'm like, my highest viewed video is a hundred, like 200,000 video views they never asked me for an interview at the paper. Granted, it's because I kind of don't go out of my way to do half the shit I do. And maybe that's just probably the big problem is I don't go out and share my stuff. I kind of have, I have anxiety about that. Like I know people are going to just like, ha ha, look at this autistic kid. I don't have, I don't know if I have autism. I don't think I have it, but I just feel like that's just the first comment everyone will give me is that I'm autistic or some bullshit or I'm fucking like, you know, just learning disabled. And it's just, I just don't want that kind of, I'm okay with criticism. I'm, I'm perfectly fine, but I just feel like if you're just going to go out of your way to call people like, wow, let's give this kid a gold medal. Am I right kids? It's just like, it's fucking, I don't want to deal with that. But I, it just, you know, like, so even like during the, uh, I had like a few friends arguing. It's like, well, my video got to 600 views on YouTube. I had a few people like that in my dressing room. And I just turned around I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a 700,000 viewed video. And I kind of, I think I did that like patronizing though. But I just, at this point in my life, guys, I, I feel underappreciated about shit. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm sad. And I feel like every time I want to talk, in, but I also feel ignored and I've been feeling that ignored a lot recently. And it's like, even in my own house where I'll try to say something, I immediately get shut up or I immediately get interrupted. And as soon as I'm done with talking something, talking about something I'm interested in, they don't talk back about it. They start their own conversation. And I, it just fucking hurts me. And it just makes me not want to go outside and talk with people about things I like. I, I, I go to a lot of conversations and I don't talk at all. I just listen to what they're talking about. And yeah, I, yeah, just, I feel ignored and there's just, I, and as soon as I, and the things I want to talk about are just things that no one cares about is my problem. I guess it's just what it is, is I'm in the wrong area for anything here. That I, There's nobody like me around here that, that shares even 75% of the interests I have. Well, that's a lie. I have a few friends like that. I have, you know, I have friends like that, but like, I don't know. It's just that I just, but still, even then I rarely get to hang out with them. So it just, once again, it's just like, well, why even fucking bother? So it's just, I've been ignored, underappreciated, just felt like I'm just had the social anxiety that as soon as I want to talk about something, I get shut up or I get ignored or I just get like to, you know, shit like that. And I'm dragging this into this secret transformer thing because it's also a big problem. What's going on with me like right now. 
I've been depressed and I have been having anxiety attacks a lot. I've had anxiety attacks more recently than I have ever in my life. I, uh, it's been bad. Ever since 2013, I've had bad, like I've had bad depression. It comes up every once in a while or really badly. And it also triggers every time. Like I hate saying triggers, but it, sometimes it just happens whenever I have a dream about somebody I used to be friends with, I wake up and I just think about it, um, for the whole day. Like, why did they leave me? Why did they stop being friends with me? And it's fucked up. And I'm just tired of it. And so this, like all this combined with comments about where's the secret transformer show. It's just got me in a fucking titter and it's just fucking got me angry and sad and depressed about all everything in life. And I just... There are honestly days I just think about quitting. Just quit it, quit YouTube. Take a year off. And just let the comments roll. But I don't want to quit YouTube because I'll say that and I'll come right back in a month. And like I can't say, oh, I'm taking a break when sometimes my video schedule could be that I don't put up anything for two months. So I'm just fucked, I guess. I'm never going to win. I'm sorry for making this episode depressing. <laughs> sorry for making everything at this ending depressing, but just keep everything in the beginning to heart. Why there is no secret Transformer show anything for a while. Trust me, guys, there's stuff going to be coming, and I will do my goddamn best to put something out. For those people who can wait, for those people who are patient, and those people who are waiting for th two years, almost three years, there will be something for you. But if you're just some kid who's just like, well, I, I can't wait 15 minutes for anything, I want you gone. Where's the off button? That's right there. Oh, thank you.